Welcome to the Unstoppable Profit Podcast. This podcast will give independent insurance agents all of the tools to grow your business and live life on your terms. Wherever you are today, if you're starting with nothing or well on your way to the success you desire with the right people, processes, and promotions in place, you will be unstoppable. And now I'd like to introduce your host, Mike Stromso. Greetings, everybody. Welcome to the next episode of the Unstoppable Profit Podcast. And wow, uh, there's some amazing things happening in the Northwest. And when this came across our channels recently, I said, we've got to get Hauke and Julie on the podcast and share uh, some of the, if you will, gold nuggets that are happening up in the Northwest. Uh, Julie and Hauke, welcome to the podcast. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you very much, Mike. This is awesome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You guys are awesome. So uh, to get us started, in case uh, people haven't heard of who you are, and I can't believe that's even a reality, but just in case, uh, go ahead and uh, tell us who you are, uh, where you're from, and anything you want to add about the agency. Absolutely. So Hockey Hansen, uh, proud owner, operator of Hawksview Insurance, located in uh, Shelton, Washington. We got a couple of branch offices roaming around in the area, one up in the Northern County and the one in the Northern Northern County. Um, and we started, uh, we purchased the business uh, basically six years ago. Bob, the business had its first, the sixth birthday on April 1st, that was just Friday. And uh, Julie, um, in the early days, uh, had an option to say yay or nay, whether or not this was a good thing to do. And she says, no, you've made good decisions so far. So uh, whatever you whatever you think, I'm not sure that that's her answer today. But <laughs> she's in it, in it to win it. Well, Julie, what is the answer today? Yes, he made great decisions. <laughs> so I'm glad to be with him for this journey. Well, yeah, he made a great decision years ago. I know that having spent time with you, but about the business as well. So anyway, <laughs> very nice, very nice, Mike. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So uh, you guys are a great team and we recently were together at Mastermind just learning more and growing more together. So great job, great uh, growth. And speaking of Bob Hauke, uh, in your mind, you said Bob's uh, anniversary. What do you mean by that? Well, uh, I feel like the day I walked into the office, April 1st, 2016, that, that was technically uh, the, the birth of Bob, Bob the business. Bob and, the business, uh, aha. So, so now Bob is, has turned six years old and it was interesting uh, that you can relate to it in, a, in, in the same fashion. He needed a lot, a lot of care those first uh, three years. Then uh, we are now able to, he, he went to, to basically off to his first grade uh, class here recently. And, and now everybody gets to teach him a little bit. Finally advancing in education, eh? Yes, exactly. <laughs> And the grades are getting better all the time. I mean, the mo some of the most recent report cards, very nice. It's fantastic. Yes. The, the, yeah. the, the more intelligent people Bob gets in front of, the better he gets. That's awesome. That's awesome. So I, I wasn't aware. April Fool's is the day you bought the business. Yes. April the 1st. Mm -hmm. No fooling. That is, that is fantastic. So <laughs> uh, just <laughs> from, from a fun standpoint, uh, I, in our circles, we affectionately call the business sometimes Bob because we've got to take care of Bob, right? We want to make sure we keep Bob healthy and, and because Bob, the healthier we keep Bob, the more Bob can give. What can Bob give? Well, he can give opportunity. He can give fulfillment. Uh, he can give career opportunity, right? Oh yeah. And that thing income and all of that. So yeah. and I'm fun excited to hear Bob. Go ahead. Fun incentive. Bob gives fun incentive. Fun incentives. Aha. Ah, exactly. Well, <laughs> perfect. Top, perfect segue. Great job. So agree. Bob also gives fun incentives. And that's one of the things that we definitely want to dive in today. And I'm going to let you take that lead and run with it. But uh, recently uh, in our discussion groups and our platinum coaching uh, programs, uh, it was circling around about your fun center program. And I think it was born at Mastermind. And uh, I looked at it and said, holy Toledo. They are doing amazing stuff. And I said, uh, we'd be willing to share that on the podcast. And you graciously, uh, as you always do, said, no problem. So what are fun incentives and how were they born? Huh. 
Well, I think they were born a long time ago. We just didn't quite know that this was going to be called fun center and deployed when we did. Um, because it seems like over the course of the last few years, being part of all of these masterminds and around them, and thanks, Mike, for having the UPP, uh, because a lot of the little pieces that fueled essentially the fun center as it stands today came and were built through that process. Um, but uh, the trigger, the final trigger was basically at the end of last year, we uh, discovered that we needed to beef up certain pieces to the puzzle, such as uh, we had a progressive uh, bonus that we wanted to achieve uh, and, and a few other things kind of were new to the, to the mechanics of the daily, daily operation. And I felt, wouldn't it be nice to actually put something behind that and get everybody on board to see it the same way as, as I see it? So if we needed to track something, well, let's put, put that on our fun center list. And all of a sudden, it's no longer a, how can you trying to track something? It is everybody trying to do the best, to put the best number on the board. And uh, so their fun center uh, was born and uh, we went through the first quarter and I think everybody was kind of semi-skeptical, uh, which is okay. And then we went through the second quarter and everybody says, ah, I get this, this is fun, thank you. Yeah. So you can't, you had an idea that you wanted to create fun incentives within the agency. And so what did that look like? I mean, did you just kind of get out a piece of paper and you and Julie talked about it and said, this is what we should do? I mean, take us back and, and help us understand how you unpacked it. How did you design it and eventually create something to present to the team as your idea? Sure. So I, actually, I'm going to take it all the way back then to about six years ago, because uh, when I um, purchased the business, and, and mind you, I purchased a business that I was not part of. So when I walked through the doors at the location one and location two, because it came in a package, I did not know the folks there. I did not know the agency or their systems or anything for that matter. I had uh, brief discussions with the primary manager at the time, and I walked through it in, after hours once. So it was a bit of an intimidating task, but the reason I actually made this move was because the agency that I did work for, for uh, 10 years prior, um, they were hard in making anything fun or for that matter, appreciate the uh, staff in a way that I think ah. should have been. And so the minute we came on board with, hey, now we have something, now we can do what we wanted to do, um, I started with the wheel. The wheel of fortune has always been in my in my uh, idea basket, and it was never able to really deploy. Um, so we started the wheel of fortune. Well, what we didn't realize is the wheel of fortune is only fun as long as all people are engaged and appreciate. But if there is just one apple that is rotten, well, it spoils the rest. Aha. Uh -huh. So yes. So it was a bit short lived. Um, then uh, we tried another um, uh, way of motivating people, which was with a performance-based type of plan. And uh, that worked a little better. Uh, I think we had some good successes, but due to the worldly uh, challenges that we all had to uh, witness over the last few years, um, that kind of was cut out of the program. And uh, in addition to that, it never actually had personality. So, okay, it was gone. Um, pulling all of this together, and, and I think this stemmed, again, from one of the mastermind groups, most of this stuff comes right out of that, the holy grail of all of the good wisdom. <laughs> um, and, and, and one of the things is, how do you motivate people? Right. And uh, I think there's a very uh, brilliant man in this circle right now that would say, well, you don't. That's, that's you what I've learned. You can't motivate them, but you can inspire them with things that may just make them more motivated to do what we all want to do. So give them a, an area, a workplace that uh, they want to live and breathe in and, and uh, be part of the team. So all of that together, that's kind of what, what made us decide this might be a good, good way. And, and it was targeting more the bits of the puzzle that we wanted to track, such as our scheduling of account reviews, completing of account reviews, uh, text message opt-ins, um, and, and the list goes on. Right. That, that, was, that was the primary, okay, this is why we're doing this. And then I came up with the, just kind of the, the catchy phrase of 
fun incentive because it's technically an incentive, but let's make right. it fun. Primary yeah. goal here is make it fun, right? Yep. Um, and then we realized that uh, there was one very important part to this that we didn't think was, that it wasn't planned for. And that is the part of the team. The team working together on a goal that is affecting everybody. Mm -hmm. And everybody's putting their best foot forward all the time now that it is not just for them. It's not just they have to put another policy on. No, it's for all of us. It's whatever results is for all of us to share. And that is an after effect that we didn't, that we didn't bank on, that we didn't even know that was going to happen. And it, it happened. And that's, that's, I think, why we're talking to you. Fantastic. Great job. Great story. Uh, way to stay with it. I, I mean, you fought through, you know, you tried something, maybe you didn't get the effect and the cause that you wanted, uh, or it didn't produce, produce the result that you wanted. Uh, and I know you have experienced the same thing that a lot of other businesses have experienced. Maybe not all the people are, are there now that were there in the beginning. And you've, you've done what you needed to do for the good of the organization, for the good of Bob, if you will, right? And so, You've also come full circle with the fact that, you know, the definition of team is together, everybody achieves more. And so major props to you guys for staying the course, for doing amazing things. Uh, may I? Um, you, you started to mention some of the things that you incentivize or fund incentivize now. Uh, I think I have a new word for my vocabulary. And if you're open to it, I'll keep sharing that. Please so, do. you know, like, Text message opt-ins, every customer adding email it may not be fun incentivized, but you're putting that out there and saying, team, this is something we need to be doing, right? Uh, every prospect entered into the system because ultimately at the end of the day, you have your buy or die system now, right? I mean, they may not buy right on the spot, but they're going to stay in your system and you're going to keep in touch with them until they make that decision or unfortunately pass on. So great job there getting everybody set up on EFT recovering a canceled account or a lost soul, uh, you know, moved within the agency, you're incentivizing your team and reminding them they, that's the value of an independent insurance agency, right? That's right. You know, we provide the options. We're not beholden to any one company. We work for you, the customer first. So account reviews, account reviews, uh, you know, every new policy, you got the welcome uh, kit series going on and reaching out to people. Uh, you know, you've got a special incentive going on with a specific insurance company because maybe you want to bundle more business. Maybe you've got an override incentive there. And so smartly, you're putting that in front of people as well. Great job there. Uh, and, you know, you've got something specific to commercial insurance. So isn't one of the greatest things about this now that you've designed this? It's nimble and you can shift on the fly, right? You can it is a beautiful tool that uh, can now take us to the next. I'm not sure where this is headed, but it's going to be great. Well, you're familiar with a, a, a platinum member in our circles. Uh, without naming names, he's got this thumb thing going on. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's also said the same thing. It's taken on a life of its own. Yes. So <laughs> that, that's what great ideas do. Once you get them through the door and you, fi you find the right environment for it, it takes on a life of its own. And sooner or later, you won't be able to stop it. So the fun scent of train is fast in motion and has a lot of coal in the house. So that's, that's great stuff. So tell us about the pot. Uh, you've got this big prize pot and you're using uh, the front on that monopoly money, right? That's right. So tell us a little bit more about the inner workings on that. I mean, what does that look like? You, you're doing it quarterly. Yeah. So we are, and, 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 and we feel like this could not have been deployed if we didn't have all these other place, pieces of the puzzle in play. And for a while now, we have done a Tuesday morning agency meetings. Uh -huh. And we shifted them into more of a togetherness because we have a whole, whole lot of remote working arrangements. We have different offices. And so nobody really gets the time together. Um, so we started out with some fun things and jokes jokes and stories uh -huh. whatever may come about and uh, then we move into our testimonials that we receive or collected over the week which is always really neat to share amongst the team how well we really did and, and, and sometimes there's somebody that did extremely well and, and now we pick one of those testimonials and put it on testimonial Tuesday uh, Facebook post nice so that's all clicking together 
Well, and then the fun incentive just fuels right into it. And just to keep it all fun, we do it on a weekly basis. So we pull the reports on Monday for the week in passing. And then we have the Monopoly money just to kind of make this real. Wow, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> and then the Monopoly money goes into the pot, which just was harvested. This is the first, this is the first week. Um, yeah, we just on. went into a new quarter. So you just cleaned out the hopper, so to speak. Exactly. Yep. <laughs> so we stopped it just right for our, our, for our pay period for April 1st. So yeah, it goes into the pot. So we, everybody has kind of a real good feel as to this is happening. And, and it's just nice to see that, uh, that Monopoly money counted out and, and turned into real spending American dollars. <laughs> wow. I'd like to have one of those $500 bills. I could yes. share it with my bride. She would like it even more. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but you know, with that being said, for those of you, uh, if you're listening to this podcast only at this point, you can also also go to when you get in front of a computer or on your phone, you can go to YouTube and search "Unstoppable Profit Producer" and just go to the videos and all of our podcasts. The the visual videos of our podcasts are right there, so you'll be able to see the money that was just flashed across the screen. So to get the full effect of what's going on at Hawksview Insurance, great stuff. So you've got the quarterly pot and you just cleaned it out and you distribute some incentives, right? And so one of the things that you were kind enough to share to uh, inspire and teach and motivate everybody within our coaching groups was uh, you dropped some numbers, and so um, I have those in front of me. Do you mind? Go for it. Yeah, to, just to make it easy. I'm not sure if you do. Uh, you know, this is what a fun set of looks like. Uh, one for last week, uh, you added uh, just in the week based on your team's ability to get stuff done on the fun set of list. You added 603 to the glass jar which is a mon filled with mon Monopoly money. So at this point, it's not real money yet. You convert it at the end of the quarter, right? Yep. Okay. And you've done it for two quarters and um, so forth and so on. So you just finished up uh, quarter one. Yep. And all of your team members who participate uh, resulted in more than $1,000 additional funds sent to real money in their compensation package, right? That's exactly right. Yeah. And so, so that was a win and you've already done the math and figuring out how to design all this. So it's good for Bob to keep Bob healthy. Right. And so even though they're realizing more gain ultimately down the road, because we've also learned to think in lifetime value, the lifetime value of this is well beyond that incentive, that fun incentive for them. So truly it's a win-win. Would you agree? 100% agree. Yeah, so that's fantastic stuff. And what happened most recently, and this is also something that you were, were kind enough to uh, put out there, uh, and I, I like to share a, a couple of the comments. Um, it was just fantastic. And I asked you about uh, this, and I, I'm going to position it. I'm going to ask you to comment on it after I share a couple of these, because as business leaders, it's just what it's all about. And, and that's just a few of the things that we try to encourage people to teach people. And then we share in our mastermind and discussion circles otherwise. So uh, one of your team, uh, and, and they put this out publicly to the rest of the teammates, right? Yeah. Yeah. And so that's the beauty of it as well. You know, when these wins together as a team, together, everybody achieves more and they start sharing their comments and their feelings of accomplishment and, and winning and everything else, it just creates this culture. How does the culture feel right now at Hawksview Insurance? It feels great. It feels like we want, that's what we wanted from day one, which wasn't possible day one, but molding and tweaking and working and getting the right players on and off the bus and all that good stuff. And all of a sudden the culture that is, is there more buy-in, more culture, and I I feel like we 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 have we have definite culture. Yeah, fantastic. Anything to add, Julie? Or are you good? We definitely have a winning team right now. We feel strong, and they love to have fun, and that they fit in perfectly with our fun center. Fantastic. That, that's congratulations. That is so awesome, and we'll continue to have conversations within our circles as well. Uh, about how we protect that 
and how we continue to nurture that and how we continue to keep that healthy because it is so vitally important. And, and I'll suggest the answers on that is probably pretty long. And we, we get to inspect what we expect, right? We got to keep our finger on the pulse and make sure that we keep Bob healthy in every way. So you've taken the steps and you've done the work. The only time success comes before work is in the dictionary. You've done the work. You've done the hard work and doing what needs to be done. So all the kudos and congratulations go to you. So it was floating around in your circles, in your email discussions within the team, or maybe live in the meetings or both. But, you know, one of your team members says, woohoo team, go. Thanks to everyone for all the hard work. And yes, we are lucky to have such incredible leaders uh, of our organization, the best around. Fantastic. Proud to be part of this forever growing dream team, all caps. Let's kick butt again and beat this the next quarter. So they're on fire to do it again. Yes. Fabulous. And the, the other, another team member said, the team at Hawksview rocks. Way to go, team. We also have one amazing leadership team. So props to you. Hmm, seems to be an ongoing theme. Another team member said, just wanted to say how awesome the Fund Center program is. Very much appreciate you too uh, as our leadership team and what you do for all of us. You are amazing people and I'm glad that you came in six years ago and did what you did. And I'm having much more fun at work nowadays and I'm also enjoying the challenges that come along with helping our customers across the board, not in the area that I'm in and on the team. Thanks again. So let's unpack that a little bit. Now is enjoying the challenges. Is that awesome or what? That is beyond awesome. You don't have yeah. no idea. <laughs> the team member likes the challenges and bring them on. <laughs> and because of the fun incentives that you've created, they're really enjoying it. And, and they feel the team synchronicity and all of that. Great job. And another team member said, woohoo, great job, everybody. And, you know, it just seems to be the ongoing flavor of them. And another team member said, this is so awesome. Look at us go. And uh, definitely need to give a shout out to our amazing leadership team who allows us this opportunity. So, you know, again, great job to you two for having the right people on the bus uh, who have the right patitude, not a bad attitude, right? Positive attitude, not a bad attitude. And who want to be part of a growing, thriving culture. So, uh, that is fantastic. You found the right um, mesh of people to fit your culture. And I can't wait to see what the future holds for you guys. So just fantastic. So how does that make you feel after you hear that? Extremely proud of, of what we always wanted to get to. Um, I mean, back from the early days, I wanted to create a work place that was going to be nominated eventually as the business of the year and those kind of things. It was always very, very important to me. And I didn't realize until recently, um, um, and again, out of your group, this little nugget came about was the, uh, it's Darren Hardy and his, his philosophies. And uh, it was just recently where, where, again, I didn't realize that embedded in this vision that I had, that, I, that I've had for a long time, is probably, that's kind of the, the ground, that's the foundation of what all we're doing and why we're doing it. And, and if you lose track of why you're doing it, well, then it's probably not gonna go where it should go. So looking back six years ago, especially this one comment of, of the, the employee that, that made mention of the fact that they're not really happy that we did come in that day, I can tell you that the day itself did not look very pretty. It was, uh, uh, it, it was exciting for me to own a business uh, for the first time I walk into the office, but when you have a staff member that does have no clue what's just about to happen and you deploy the information that you just purchased the agency and this agency happened to have been purchased a few times over the 15 years prior, um, you don't become an instant friend for sure. <laughs> In fact, quite the opposite. Um, it took a lot of warm up time. And so when this comment came about now, I, I, I honestly feel that it's kind of a full circle it is exactly what we wanted. We stuck to it. And this person that probably would have had, would have rather ran that day than not is now a, a raving fan of ours. 
Well, congratulations. Julie, what about you? How does that make you feel? It makes me very proud that uh, we, Hokey had a vision of what he wanted. And I am all about love your employees. You know, make them feel like they can't be anywhere else because you want them that bad. And he had his vision. We kind of put it together. And I mean, it's working. Everybody seems to be very grateful for the things that we do. They're willing to try things with us. They know that not everything's going to work, but they're willing to test the waters with us and stick with us. We're loving it. Fantastic. And, you know, uh, the fun incentives are at the heart of it all. And that's why we, I thought it was so important to share this with everybody. And if you're watching this and we're listening to this and uh, thinking that, well, you know, they did this and, and maybe I don't want to fight through everything that needs to be fought through. You don't necessarily have to do that. It's, it's really all about just taking that first step, right? We talk about this a lot. Don't think about it. Don't talk about it. Just take action. Would you encourage them to do the same thing? Every time. Yeah. That's the hardest. Just, just do it. Just take <laughs> the first step. Exactly. That came from the great Northwest as well at its core, right? Um, from Phil Knight. So uh, he's, he was the founder of that. Just got done with Shoe Dog. That was awesome. So fantastic stuff. And, and so the sky's the limit. Um, shall we piggyback on and give uh, everybody one more idea of what they can do if something like once they get to this point? And I want to give this to you guys as well if you haven't thought about this yet. So you have these incredible comments that just came down the pike. I mean, literally within the last week or so, right? Mm -hmm. So if you took each of them, and cut them out. And I keep a pair of scissors right over here for that reason and envelopes and stamps and cards and everything else. So if you cut those out and you wrote a kind handwritten to the heart note to the team member and say, you know, you're awesome. So proud of you that you're part of our team. Thank you for your kind comments. Let's keep making this happen together. So if you put their comment and send it to their home address spontaneously without them knowing, they receive it. You send it to their home address for a reason because when it comes to their home address, they're likely to read it because they're not in the work environment. Go, 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 right there. Oh, I got a second. What is this, right? I will tell you, and I've been doing it for years. Uh, it has so much more power sending it to their home address, especially if you can find the right words, uh, you know, to say that support what just happened. So you're reinforcing what you work so hard for and giving them the vision of the future. Uh, it, it's just awesome. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. So anyway, just a thought for you, just an idea. A very good thought. <laughs> it just happens that you have so many of the good ones. Exactly. I and together, you know there's no stopping us. <laughs> The, the train is a rolling right now and it's got lots of quality coal in the compartment, baby. So look out. Yes, yes, it does. Yeah, so uh, fantastic. Thank you for sharing these great details. Uh, as and, Unless you have anything else, what else is going on at Hawksview Insurance? What's your vision for what does done look like at the end of this year? I mean, but based on everything else you've got going on. <laughs> Any other gold nuggets hanging around that you want to share? Well, well I, we just picked up one, um, and this was, in, in fact, this was at one of your fine events um, that we just <laughs> got back from about a week ago, and uh, packed full of good things. I've been a member of your group for a couple of years now, but we never really had a, an opportunity to do the, the, the masterminds in a, in a live format, so in person, and that is even beyond everything else. Uh, the information we took back, the clarity that we had when we left, and the fact that we already implemented a certain amount of those in this first week. Um, I'm not sure what the end of the year is going to look like, but we're, we're plowing through some serious material. Uh, and, <laughs> and most importantly, we're doing it as a team. And I think that ultimately is going to make this the most successful place for, for me and Julie and for everybody else. Yeah, I could not agree more. And that that live format versus, you know, what we've dealt with in the last couple of years. Look, everybody's dealing with the same thing, right? But, you know, now that we're back together and the fact that Julie was there, 
uh, that is so powerful because, I mean, let's say hypothetically that Julie wasn't there and Hauke was there and he was taking all the notes. Hauke's ability, not that you can't, Hauke, don't get me wrong, but Hauke's ability to come home and share all of the information with Julie based on his notes, it's not going to be the same. No. When Julie's sitting there hearing it live from everybody with their own ears and her own heart and her own mind, there's just so much power. And so kudos to both of you for both showing up. And, and, and it was across the board, magical. I mean, everybody, same comment, the live, oh, there's nothing like it. And, and well, then the nugget, I forgot to actually mention it. This yeah, is yeah. This oh, is sorry about that. Go ahead. Yeah, please. <laughs> it's uh, culture giving authenticity. And I think uh -huh. you mentioned that more than once. And it didn't take me long to pick up on that. And I realized, wow, not only is that what we're here for, is the culture. We're, we're getting there. We're, we're well into it. We're here for the giving. And the giving is giving. It starts with giving to internally. I mean, we're giving mm -hmm. externally. We're giving internally. It's just showing that appreciation. And then, then the one that um, I never realized was as important as it probably is, that's authenticity. And uh, I think I am ultimately uh, authentic, um, sometimes a little too authentic. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why we have Julie. Thank you, Julie. That's why we have Julie. Yes, exactly. Julie, yeah, that's call me if you need me, okay? <laughs> yes. You have my number. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, culture giving authenticity. Uh, I took that away, and uh, I think that matches uh, up with us extremely well. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for sharing that. Anything you, uh, to piggyback on that, Julie? Yeah. <laughs> No. And if you don't, that's fine. I, I know I just, I put you on the spot, but, you know, agree. Uh, you know, that actually came to my mind as we began the mastermind and it built on uh, over the days, uh, culture, culture, eats strategy and everything else for breakfast. And I get to go share with agents over the next couple of months live, which I'm excited about. But, you know, I'll be talking a lot about that. The culture is so vitally. And as business leaders, We've got to protect our culture. Yep. And it's a business decision, right? There's two kinds of decisions, personal and business. This is just business. We've got to protect our culture. So, you know, keep, keep that in mind as we go forward. You built a phenomenal culture. Now we get to protect it. And um, giving was born out of the book, Go Giver. And uh, just to add, add on, uh, we now know that the incredible author, Bob Berg, Endless Referrals, the Go-Giver series is going to be live at Be Unstoppable Bootcamp this year. So super pumped, super honored. You will be meeting him as will all of the other Platinum Coaching members at Bootcamp. So super excited about that. We learned about the five laws of giving and then 100% agree. Authenticity. Uh, you know, oh, I do have it right here. I just picked up a couple of new quotes I study every single day and I'm always looking for that next, if you will, gold nugget, right? And you'll appreciate this, okay? I picked up two quotes this weekend when I was studying something. First of all, life is too short to be afraid of it. I said, aha. But the bigger one along that lines of authenticity, if you're going to have longevity, you've got to be yourself. And so, that's at the core of authenticity, right? Just be yourself. It's, a, it's easier that way, right? It's easier to be yourself. So uh, I, I picked those up from the late John Madden, uh, who is one of my favorites of all time. Uh, you know, but be authentic, be yourself. And the other thing is nobody can duplicate it. I mean, right, Julie? Does anybody really want to duplicate Hauke anyway? No. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I uh, agree. You are both authentically awesome. So thank you for being on the podcast. Uh, great, great stuff. And in addition to that, in addition to the fun incentives, uh, we were also able to share a, a list of other fun activities uh, that we built over the years in the insurance agency business, 35 years. Uh, I've got the list in front of me. It's, it's actually too long to mention. But I will add one thing on just uh, for your incentivized fuel, if you will. So one of the things that we used to do in the fun environment, we had silly string fights periodically, right? So I bring in silly string into the office, any party store has it, and, and we'd have silly string Friday and we put it on each desk. And so uh, we had done that the night before we left. And so 
I had already learned about the freedom aspect. So I was working on my business during the morning and then I would go into the office when I was done with my highest priorities. So I rolled into the office one Friday morning about 9, 30, 10 o'clock and I walked around a cubicle and because the client had been asking the team member, what's with this silly string? And she's explaining it's it's silly string Friday. We have fun and, and all that kind of stuff. And the client's going, wow, I love that. You guys have fun. And insurance, that's probably important. We're going, you bet. <laughs> and so I walked around the corner and she goes, there he is. It's his fault. Let's get him. And she's hitting me with silly string and she goes, hands it to the client and says, you want to get him too? And I'm <laughs> the client and her both hitting me with silly string and I will never forget that moment. It was just awesome. But, you know, isn't it so much better to have a kind of culture and environment that, you know, has that kind of thing going on versus maybe the other stuff? Way better. Way better. And you have clients that want the chat or not clients. Yeah. Oh, key point. Aha. So who is our number one customer, right? As a business entrepreneur? Yes. You're right. Our team, our yes. teammates are our number one customer. Absolutely. So anyway, so that's what you're doing. And you're not, one of your uh, teammates said, I want more challenges because you've created this kind of environment. So vitally important. So proud of you guys. Just awesome. So, and uh, you know, one last add on for everybody else, people need to hear things seven times. So if you've heard us repeat things, et cetera, et cetera, that's because we all need to hear it seven times. It's a noisy, polluted, crazy world with so many messages going on out there. Keep saying it, keep doing it, keep saying it, keep doing it. So proud of you, uh, Julie. Proud of you, Hauke. Great job. Thank you for uh, coming on the podcast to share uh, the latest and greatest things that are going on in Hawksview Insurance and encouraging other people by fighting through the things that didn't work, tweaking, shifting, being nimble, and uh, moving on to and finding something that ultimately did work. Now you've created this culture that is absolutely unstoppable. Proud of you guys. Well, thank you very much for having us. Thank you. You're, you're welcome. Can't wait to see what the future brings. So, hey, by the way, if this is your first time on the podcast, welcome. My name is Mike Stromso, and I'm widely recognized as a leading author, speaker, and coach for the independent insurance agency industry. You can find out more about me at unstoppableprofitproducer.com. If you're intended, if you're interested in attending a virtual or a live event, to learn more about what we're doing in UPP to grow your business, create wealth, so you too can have more freedom and learn about the great things like the things that are happening at Hawksview Insurance, you can visit our virtual uh, portal at uppfaststart.com. And if you want to join us at one of our live events, just simply go to beunstoppablebootcamp.com. Both events are designed with some of the best money-making strategies that we've developed over 35 years of research in your industry, again, to help you grow your business, create wealth, so you too can have more freedom to live life on your own terms. Uh, and also, please make sure you go to our podcast website, which is unstoppableprofitpodcast.com and subscribe so you don't miss one episode that will bring serious money-making money strategies to your inbox and to your mind all of the time. Also, the podcast is available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, and our YouTube channel. Just go to YouTube, search Unstoppable Profit Producer, and go to the video section. All of the podcasts are there for your viewing, learning, and growth pleasure. So again, Julie, Hauke, thank you so much for being part of our Unstoppable Platinum Coaching Program. You guys are incredible. And we can't wait to be by your side and to see what the future holds for you. Thank you. You're welcome. You are absolutely unstoppable. <laughs> All right, everybody. Until next time, get out there, make a difference, be unstoppable, leave no regrets. And we will either be sharing with you on an audio basis or we will Z you on the next podcast. Until then, take care. Can't get enough of the Unstoppable Profit Podcast? Come join our next live three-day boot camp in warm, beautiful San Diego. Invest in your ticket today at BeUnstoppableBootCamp.com. That's BeUnstoppableBootCamp.com.